our attention. In 2011, 151 million children were orphans. However, just because they were orphans does not, mean, does not mean they lived in orphanages. They were forced out onto the streets with no healthy development in order for them to develop into a um, young adult, and they were at risk for malnutrition, disease, and even death. Today I'm going to share with you why adoption is always a great choice to take. Although I am not ready for a family anytime soon, I have thought about adoption in the future, and I hope that maybe after this you will too. Today I'm going to talk to you about why parents choose to adopt, and uh, why parents benefit in adopting, and also why the child benefits when they are adopted. First I'm going to discuss why a parent would choose to adopt, and how they benefit from adopting. Parents adopt for various reasons. Some of them are unable to have their own children. They are infertile, so they choose the alternative, adoption. In Adoption Opposing Viewpoints, Elizabeth Barthollet states that the parents are given an opportunity that they've been aching for because they're infertile to adopt <coughs> and uh, raise a child on their own. Even though it might not be their own biological child, they are still able to give them the love and attention that they need. It gives them a new perspective on their loss of infertility. Another reason parents might adopt is because they're compassionate and they want to take immediate action to help a child in need. The U.S. Department of State says that 8,668 children were adopted in the U.S. Um, in 2012. Only 273 of those were from the state of Tennessee. This is a very small number compared to the large number of children out there that need adopting. Although adoption can be a long process and it is expensive, it's worthwhile when you can see your child, open up the presents on Christmas <coughs> morning, um, share laughter with them, read them bedtime stories, and just raise them and love them as your own. Dan Savage says in his book, Adoption, parents generally have children nowadays to have a meaning in life and to um, have something meaningful to them and something real. Parents adopt um, to find this as well. Now that I've talked about why parents benefit from adopting, second I'm going to discuss how the, child, um, how the child benefits from adoption. When a child is adopted, they're ensured the nutrients they need to survive, an educational opportunity, medical service when needed, and adequate clothing. Uh, in certain cases, a child being adopted is the best thing that could happen to them in their whole life. They're given a chance at a life they might not otherwise have had. The Congressional Coalition Adoption Institute states that last year, 27,000 uh, 18-year-olds uh, aged out of foster care. Aging out means that you turn 18 and you're no longer allowed in the foster care system, so they're forced to go live on their own with no financial or emotional um, support to back them up. This creates a variety of problems for them the rest of their life. 50% of them abuse substances, and 17% of young 18-year-old females ended up pregnant. A lot of parents like to adopt uh, infants because they want to see them grow from 0 to 18 and then on, um, but the older children need adopting as well. When a child is adopted, they begin being a part of family traditions and memories. In the Adoptive Family magazine, Rose Godfrey writes about her experience adopting two children from Russia at the ages of 9 and 10. She states that they plopped into our lives with no more of an idea of how to become a family than we had. Quickly, I learned that they yearn to be part of something larger than themselves. Having a family really means being something um, larger than yourself, not being selfish, caring for people, loving your family. To conclude, today I've talked about how parents benefit from adopting and how a child would benefit from being adopted. <coughs> Many of you probably aren't thinking about starting a family anytime soon, but when you are, I hope you and your spouse take adoption into consideration. Think of the memories you had as a child and how they shaped you into the person that you are today. Um, should any child have to go without having those memories?